Hi everyone, Mike Hancock here, and I'm talking about the David Clark series, my new series of novels coming out on November the 8th, which is not too far away. And today I'm going to focus on book number three in the series, and that is Ancestry. It's the one on the left in your picture there, and this book really does focus on David Clark's adventure with Abby Beck to understand how the Fourth Reich is rising and the reoccurrence of the Nazis putting the Fourth Reich together. Now, it plays out over a couple of different places. So I would suggest that if you haven't got it yet, go and grab your copy of Ancestry. Go and grab your copy of True Seekers. Go and grab your copy of KV55. They really are tremendous reads. And Lundy, my partner, loves this book the most. She says this book is just fantastic. So it's got some really interesting twists in it. And I think you'll find that really, really unique. So it starts really by a trip that David and his partner, Abby, do. Uh, to find David's ancestry. And they're in the UK and they have a couple of experiences and they end up at Conway Castle in Wales, which is where this photo is taken of Lundy and myself at Conway Castle in Wales. This is the castle built by Edward Longshanks, Edward I, King of England, in around about the, uh, the 13th century, where he uh, was wanting to set up a base in Wales and obviously wanted to command the Welsh as well. Uh, we had a great, uh, great time at Conway. It's just such a beautiful castle there. And uh, it's actually part of the story is also part of my story because I found out during this um, during this journey and this venture into doing this that I too am a distant re relative of Edward I of England. So that was fantastic and very, very exciting. But it moves from there because something happens from Wales all the way all the way to this. This is the Gerald R. Ford, the most advanced aircraft carrier on the planet. 4,800 people commissioned originally by Obama, but finished during the Trump presidency. And it is out there now. This is a machine. And in our book, we have Simon Lord, who is the president of the United States, uh, actually on board the aircraft carrier, on board the Gerald R. Ford, where he gets to meet um, basically with David Clark there, and David goes on a mission from uh, the President of the United States. Now, I have to say that if that's not exciting enough at this stage, then uh, wait what's coming next, but grab your copy of Ancestry. Uh, this is a QR code. The books go live on the 8th of November. If you can't find them off the QR code, then simply go to your Kindle, uh, type in my name, Mike Hancock, and the David Clark series, or you can type in the word Ancestry, and you will find the book. But grab the other two books, the first and the second one in the series also before you go there. So we move from uh, the Gerald R. Ford and, and we move from Wales. We move all the way across to Patagonia. And uh, when Lundy and I did our research trip to Patagonia uh, in 2022, we came across some amazing stuff because if you didn't know about this, I'm going to speak about it in a separate video. I'm going to speak about the rat line and the way in which head Nazis got out of Germany at the end of the Second World War. But here's a photo I snapped here of a very nice suburban house right uh, uh, in the CBD of Bariloche, which is uh, basically the capital of, of Patagonia in Argentina. And this is... Uh, the Angel of Death's house. So this is Joseph Mengli's house um, where he used to go down and buy, buy his bread and do his fruit shopping on a weekend and interact with the local community after he was the organiser of all the children's experiments in Auschwitz and managed to escape, lived a fairly long and fairly healthy life until he finally drowned Apparently in Brazil, maybe he was taken out at that point of time. So it's unbelievable when you get to stand in front of these things, how these people could have lived in these places. But that wasn't the reason I was there. The reason I was there was to do research on the Hitler house. Um, and there is a whole range of scenes there as David goes to the Hitler house and tries to get in there with Abby's father, the eagle, and with Abby's mother as well in the book amy and there are certain reasons why that happens and a lot of things go down so it's very exciting i'm not going to tell you the plot lines so don't worry about that but they are on the 
chasing the Fourth Reich, the reoccurrence of the Fourth Reich, put together by Mendeley's son, um, who is actually the one of the evil guys in this one, and also the son of one of the other most evil people in the in the Nazi regime, uh, and that is the propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels' son. And uh, I also deal in this book with was Hitler killed in the bunker in 1945 and who actually was killed in the bunker. So a lot of TV shows have been done about the Nazi escape to Argentina and South America, but most of them have never got as far as we've got, which we were just so lucky. Um, it took a lot of work, took a lot of effort, took a few bucks, not a lot of bucks. Um, but we managed to um, get an approval to go and actually visit the Hitler house. And there's a photo of me trampsing around the outside of it. Now, in 1945, 1950, this wasn't an easy house to get to. It's not really that easy to get to today either. Um, you certainly can't walk there or drive there. So it does require a boat trip and you're not allowed to land, but we were given special dispensation by the trustees who own the property to land, not to film there or anything, but to simply wander around. And thank you to the wonderful Diego, um, who is my guide there. And if you get a copy of the book, get Ancestry, go to the back of the book and check out Diego's websites. He can do some amazing things for you. He's actually a professor by, um, by academia, and uh, but he's now living in Bariloche where he's running uh, a tour company there. Uh, and one of his specialties is the Nazi tours. Now, you can't just be anybody and get to this property. So don't think that you're going to go there and be able to replicate what we were able to do. Uh, he doesn't run tours here. People can't go there. But we were lucky enough that we got special dispensation um, to go there. And I think it was just pure timing. So that's apparently the house that Adolf Hitler uh, was in, but you'll have to watch my other video to see what we found there and, and to see what happened as we went into there. Now, what they find out in Patagonia is that the Fourth Reich is based in Patagonia, but also where they're really uh, sort of putting things together and motorizing themselves is in uh, just outside of Swakopmund, Namibia, and this is what the landscape looks like out there. I snapped that out of the side of the car. And strangely enough, there is uh, an ancient thing that we don't cover in this book, but I was tempted to, of the ancient pyramids in Namibia. Now, have a look at that mountain right behind my head there. That could well be a very ancient pyramid in Namibia. But Namibia is known for um, big mining, and this is actually one of the salt mines. And our final scenes of ancestry play out in one of the mines actually in Namibia. So Landi's here holding the salt, as you can see. There is not much to live on in this part of the world. It's called the Skeleton Coast for a reason. And uh, no, the Americans couldn't go in there in, in the book, but uh, certainly David and uh, a few of his friends could go in to play out the final scenes. Now, I have to tell you that um, with a caveat here, that none of my personal influences or anything are in this, uh, these books or any of them. None of my personal beliefs are in here. Certainly all my political views are definitely not in here. But I have to tell you, there is a significant twist at the end of this book and one you just won't see coming. So look forward to that in Ancestry. If you wanted to grab your copy of that, then um, it comes out on November the 8th. Uh, I'm really proud of these books. Those of you that are writers are watching these videos. If you've written nonfiction books, it is a breeze compared to writing fiction. And it takes a long time. And you have to have a great editor. And Sue, my editor on these book series, is the same as Dan Brown's editor. She's been Lee Child's editor as well. So she's worked on some of the, the biggest selling books of all time. So I'm really proud to have her as part of my team as well. And a big thank you to Landy for just encouraging me and being with me on every step of this journey. So that's the series of Ancestry. I would suggest you go and grab your copies and enjoy them, recommend them to others. And please, please, please write your reviews on uh, Amazon as well and on Amazon Kindle because reviews mean everything and it'd be lovely to see those reviews up there. I'll catch you later. Bye. More coming on this video series. Don't go away just yet.